Hi guys, welcome to the new video of this learning tutorial series. In this video, we're gonna discuss uh, the concept called types of storage. So this concept is not limited to only learning a Linux or learning a Linux or giving RSCC exam. But yeah, if you go to any cloud or as a DevOps engineer, you have to work on multiple clouds like GCP, Azure, AWS, OpenStack. Multiple clouds are there. So this concept will help you help you there also. So there are a few types of storage. Okay, let me give you the names. First is block storage. We will discuss this all in detail. Why this is important? So first, this is important if you want to become a DevOps engineer and if you want to work on multiple clouds, GCP, Azure, AWS, multiple clouds are there. And uh, the right concept is always important because uh, if you give any interview also, there it will help you. Second, this is important because in your RHCC exam, you have some question based on this storage types. So it will come indirectly in the form of LVM. What we will slowly, slowly moving towards LVM. First is block storage. Second is object storage. Third is file storage. So let me first explain you this. What are those? And uh, then I will explain you according to multiple clouds. First is block storage. All are storage, but they have different different capabilities. So block storage is like your hard disk. Or you can say it like storage in which you can uh, create a partition. Okay. Now your boot disk or your hard disk where operating system is installed, that is a, again a type of block storage. Why? Because operating system you can't install without a partition. So if you install your operating system in Windows or any other layer, uh, it will first ask you. Like this is the hard disk, can I create a partition on my own of this and this GB? So we will install operating system in this. So C drive is again your partition, D drive is again like your partition of one hard disk. Without partition you can't install operating system. And the hard disk or the storage where you can create a partition, that type of storage is known as block storage. Okay. Second type of storage is the object storage. So this is again a storage. What storage means? A storage is used to uh, store the multiple files permanently or files or important documents you can say. Whatever you want to store permanently, you don't want to lose, there you will use storage. So all are the type of storage only that means your file or folders or documents will never lose. But they have different different capabilities. Like in the storage we are installing operating system, we are files and folders because Everything we are working on this OS is like uh, I told you the command also. See, this is the command. Everything is like partition only. And inside a partition only, we are installing the operating system files and folders, storing files and folders, multiple things. Even though whatever we saw, this files and folder, all are stored in the storage only, but in a partition format. Okay, this is one thing. Second is object storage. So object storage is like a storage only, but we can't create a partition. Second thing, uh, object storage, we can't mount on some machine or you can think of like on some folder or in a similar way if you want to know, like there is an object storage and there are three laptops. So this object storage or this object storage uh, server you can access over the internet or uh, by other medium but at the same time user can access this but you can't mount on these three machines that means if you want to give same information to all the three machines you can't uh, basically mount it or all the three machines can see not see the same information at once same for the block storage this is the one Linux machine second Linux machine three Linux machine same one block storage at one time, you can only attach to a one Linux machine or like any one laptop. If you want to attach it to second machine, first you need to remove it from your first laptop, then you can only attach to second laptop. Then either example of block storage is your pen drive. So one pen drive, you can only attach to a one machine or one laptop. At the same time, it's not possible to attach it to two laptops. The third type of storage we have in the world is 
file storage. So whatever we can't achieve with object storage, we can achieve it with file storage. This is again the storage, that means we can store files and directories permanently. But you can think of like a central Linux machine or central server or central storage and you have multiple Linux machines. At the same time, you want all the information will be available to all these machines. Let's say I updated one file here, file 1. So I want all the three machines, all the three users sitting on this machine can see this file 1. So if you want to mount some storage, then that type of storage that you can mount on multiple machines at the same time, that type of storage is known as file storage. So you can mount it here also, mount it here also, here also. Now what is the use of mount is? Whatever changes you will done in the storage, either creating a file, removing a file or creating a folder, at the same time, all parallelly, all the Linux machine, Linux user can see those changes at the same time. If you created folder here, so whatever the folder you created here, that will reflect in this machine also, in this second or third machine also. There is a use of file storage. Again, you can't format or create a partition in file storage. So let me revise it again very quickly. If you want to install operating system or if you want that type of storage that is attached to your laptop physically or virtually but uh, that type of storage only can attach at a single machine or at a single laptop at a one time that type of storage is known as block storage. If you want to attach this block storage to another laptop first you have to remove from your first laptop then only you can attach to second laptop. Second is object storage where you can't create a partition, only you can upload files or download files and you can't mount it on any machine even though if you want that this is my object storage server and I will create a file or folder here and there are three Linux machines and I want to sync them parallelly like I create a folder here that will reflect in all these three Linux machines that we can't achieve with a object storage. So for that we have a third type of storage that is file storage. If you want to mount one storage on multiple Linux machine at a single time and all will be synced with that centralized storage like if I create folder file here that will reflect in all Linux machine then we have to use file storage. Now we will discuss all this storage in very detail but let me give you the example of it. Block storage you can think of like your hard disk or your pen drive and if you know some cloud then we have EBS in AWS Elastic Block Storage Second object storage where we can upload or download file only So the real world example of this is Google Drive or you can think of OneDrive and if you know AWS S3 is the example of object storage Okay Third, file storage. We can create file storage also and we have session on file storage also how we can create and configure file storage in our Linux tutorial series. So there is a protocol NFS. So mounting the thing, the storage on centrally on multiple folders or machines, we have to follow some protocol. That protocol is known as NFS. NFS protocol means or protocol means how to mount those things or how to achieve the task. That's why it's also known as NFS server. But if you talk about the use case of it, then we have a EFS as a service in AWS. So one storage, that storage is syncing parallelly with all the machines, multiple machines, thousand or ten thousand machines, whatever we are clearing in the centralized place, all will be syncing all the Linux machines. That is a file storage. Now the main concept in RHCSA or our course is block storage. So next video we will see how to create a partition, how we can list a block storage and everything. But that's all about the overview of the storage. If you like the video, if you get some insights on storage, please subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon. If you have any doubts, you can reach out to me LinkedIn or post your doubts on the comment box. Thank you.